Hello there, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Arma with the Stock Swoosh, and I'm going over the Gap Options newsletter advanced trader results for the week expiring June 17th. So this was last week. Uh, the Friday expirations, always do the Friday expirations. Every trade worked. Win ratio was 100%. Advanced trader profits, 165510 This is an average risk per trade of $8,000. We will go over all the trades in this video. Average return on investment, 210%, which is fabulous. And again, every trade worked. I am gonna do a video for beginners too. I'm not gonna go over that in, in this lecture. If you have questions, you can email me at melissa at the stockswish.com. You can always call me at 929-3200-GAP. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, or Skype. So 2022, has been a great year to trade. I mean, one of the reasons that all these trades worked is I have a very high win ratio system. I use my Golden Gap rating system in order to rate the gaps to determine what's going to work and in what direction. However, this year has been a phenomenal year simply because of the fact that we've had a lot of big moves this year, a lot of momentum, a lot of volatility. You're even seeing that this week. So volatility and momentum actually helps you make a lot of money as a trader if you play the direction right. But you gotta get the direction right no matter what. I mean, you always, every trade that you take, you have to get the direction right. So we're getting into the summer months again. This was a week in June, wasn't even earnings week. Wasn't even earnings week and it was a phenomenal week. So earnings is a busy time. We get a lot of trades during earnings season. That begins in July, but because we've had so many different moves in the market this year, we've actually had a lot of nice market trades that have nothing to do with earnings. So again, there were 10 winners, 10 trades, zero break even, zero losers, 100% win ratio, every trade worked. Advanced trader average risk per trade is 8,000. Again, I'm gonna go over them here. Profits for the total of the 10 trades, 165,510, and average return on investment, 210%. So again, this is the week expiring June 17th. So I called the Walmart 120 puts, it expired on the 17th, and I sent this out. If you sign up for the Gap Options newsletter, most of the trades were sent in the pre-market in the morning. So this was June 9th, 9.12 in the morning before the open. Really cheap, this was super cheap. Cost was 75 cents for one contract. Again, you can take less, but 100 contracts, risk of 7,500, sold at 250, was a profit of 17,500, which was 233% return on in investment. So let's look at the chart of Walmart. This has been such a nice chart, to be honest with you. I'm just in love with this chart. I called this here, we did this gap here. This was the earnings gap, by the way. And again, everything that I do, every pick that I make is based on the gap. We do bullish gaps and we do bearish gaps. In this case here, this was a bearish gap. So the stock closed here, gap down, fell, boom. And that was the drop. Again, I called the 120 puts above the strike and it dropped into it and fell through it. And this may not even look like some gymungous move, like this one was over here. And actually we did this move too. But the fact is just getting that timing right, getting the direction right, perfect. I mean, it was just a beautiful trade, you know? And it was very low cost. So you could have piled up if you put on a lot of risk or taken smaller size. Then that same day, a little bit after the open, June 9th, I called this 5409 puts, expired the 17th. And again, nice move. 575 for one, 15 contracts is a risk of 86.25, sold at 36. Profit $45,375, and it was a 526% return on investment at this exit. This was not the higher the options chain. You could have held it longer. You could have made more. Uh, I'm going to show you because, again, it was the 409s that I called on the 9th. Okay, here it fell. Boom, boom, boom. If you stayed in it to the very last day, which I, I don't necessarily recommend people doing in this case, but there was no way this was going to flip around. Uh, it almost came all the way down to 360. You know, it was it was really just completely fell off a planet. But it was a really good exit, you know, even to get it out earlier in the week. It's some of the times these things just keep going. But it was such a huge return on investment before the last day that I don't think it makes sense holding the last day, but it was even bigger if you held it the last day. This is how these things go. I say roll with it, take your trades, chunk it out, make money. You can hold some of the position if you want to. You can, if we're doing two trades like a Q and a SPY, get out of one, hold another. 
it's not a good idea to hold everything all the time full position. So you have to choose and pick what you want to do. The idea of trading is to make money and chunking it out. You don't want to let this type of profit go back against you. And, and again, even though this kept going, my goal is always to get the perfect entry as best that I can, get the perfect gap, and get the direction right, get a highly rated gap, and then I have you know, my own decisions where I want to get out. Hold, stay, get out quick. It's up to you. And many people actually that have small accounts tend to get out early because they, they want to be able to take the next trade. Because if you have money invested in a trade, plus when you're up, until you exit it, you can't get the money back to take the next trade, you know. But this was a nice mover, um, and it got a beautiful drop. Again, a put is a short. If you do not know what an option is, then you're not going to be able to trade them. This is a newsletter, okay? This is what gets sent to you, the newsletter itself. Again, in live time, they're emailed to you. You have to be able to place the trades yourself. But we're trading momentum up and down, up and down. So again, that's how you make the money in options. You got to get the momentum. People are always so worried about time. Listen, I've had things that I've taken that I, you know, that I've been up to the last day. This was not one of them, uh, but I, where I've been in it, and it's been down, and it flips. The whole last day it goes and I make money in it. Why? Because the momentum then the last day happens to be in my favor, huge. So in reference to trading, you know, this is one of these things where direction counts, momentum counts, all of these things count for you to be profitable. And accuracy really, which is in the rating system. I call this in the afternoon 218, the targets, the 155s, again expired June 17th. This was, these were pretty cheap, $2.60 for one, 30 contracts was a risk of 7,800. Sold at 13, profit 31,200, and a return on investment of 400%. Nice move, big move, really, really nice. Again, another put, okay? And let's take a look at target. So I called this one on the 9th as well. Got the drop, boom. And again, this one kept going. I called the 155s. This was, this was at 138 the last day. I mean, it's just kept going and going and going. You, you just gotta make sure that you get out and book the profits. Really nice move, another nice move, another nice call. Then I called on the Friday, June 10th at 8.50 in the morning again in the pre-market, the 295 QQQs expired on the 17th. Again, this is a put. Cost was $7, 10 contracts, risk of 7,000. Sold at $20, profit $13,000. Return on investment, 186%. So again, this is really one of these ones where if you capture it at the right time and in the right placement, boom, right before the move comes in, you can grab all the profits. And one of the advantageous things about trading options, specifically the way that I call them, because I'm so good at reading direction, is that we get in a trade and then it goes overnight in our direction. That's how you can make a lot of money in options. You're in a put and it gaps down overnight, or we're in a call and it gaps up overnight. Capturing those overnight moves is so amazing. We did that with some of the ones we did from here to here, and then this one was the 10th, and then we got it from here to here. This was Monday. I mean, this was Friday, this was Monday, look at that. So that was really nice too. Again, the 295s, here was June 10th, the day that I called it. Then we called the Diamond 320s expired, and again, in the morning on Friday, expired the 17th, cost was 620, 12 contracts, risk was 7440, sold at 16, profit 11,760, return on investment 115%, nice trade in and out, and again, another nice move. Uh, we don't always trade the diamonds. I do like the Qs, I do like the Spy, sometimes we'll do the diamonds. Anyways, this had the fall, Gap down, boom, here was the 10th, again called the 320s. It was actually past that, uh, which was why that was a little bit pricey there. Then got the gap down and the drop. Again, really nice move, followed through, the deepest point even the very last day. Didn't quite come down to 295, but tried. I mean, these are just humongous moves. And again, it's because of the follow through overnight. Netflix 180s expired June 17th. Call this in the pre-market in the morning on Friday. Although you wait until the open to do the trade, you cannot do options in the morning at 8.30 in the morning. Cost was 520, 15 contracts, risk was 7,800, sold at 15.75, profit 15,825, return on investment 
just you know another nice mover this chart though has been choppy i will say that the last week <clears throat> so this was the 10th here was the drop okay and it's been wiggling and jiggling a lot in the last week trying to move higher trying to move lower we'll see where this goes in the next <clears throat> in the next couple of weeks netflix is one of the first things to report at the beginning of earnings season in july i have to look up the date uh, so that's definitely going to be on my watch list now amazon which is much more reasonable to trade than it was before the stock split i called the 109 puts expired june 17th again 11 11. i called this later in the morning on the friday still a nice call really worked good followed through 270 30 contracts risk was 8100 sold at 750 profit 14,400 178 percent return on investment and what another really nice trade so again june 10th was here this is the amazon called the 109s closed here gap down fell and again like i was saying you know when somebody has a small account to be able to capture a big move 100 percent 200 percent 500 percent i mean it really can make a difference when you have a small account but i mean to have massive profits 30 40 thousand dollars even with an eight thousand dollar risk which is which is a lot of money but to have to be able to grow it like that in one trade in one move is because of the gap rating that i'm reading i teach the gap rating in the golden gap course the newsletter these newsletters this is not what you're gonna you're not gonna learn the class by signing up for the newsletter you're gonna get these trades okay and then you can do them if you want to but if you want to learn the method how i'm picking these trades that's where you would sign up for the overall class but i mean the the way that i'm getting the overnights is really because of the rating i'm seeing that the rating of the gap is really really good then on monday at 8 46 the 13th i called the 380 spies expired june 17th this was the puts cost was 775 10 contracts risk was 77.50 sold at 17 dollars profit 92.50 return on investment 119 percent and again this was then on monday on monday this was the 13th so now i called a lower strike 380s in fact this was up then it was down until it went boom and again this was up even more the very last day not that anybody should have held that so really interesting moves here in this market um and i've been very focused on everything we're doing then i called on monday also at 903 in the pre-market the queues 280 strike expired 617 it was puts cost was six dollars number of contracts was 12 risk was 7200 sold at 10 profit 4867 that's a good trade again to hold something the last day not necessarily going to take a chance on doing that when i'm up i think 50 percent is good try to get it to 100 we did this one here again it was the 280s i think if this had fallen more before this lift it would have been a bigger trade but anyways it still was a positive trade and there it goes and there it was and fell through the number then we did the teslas this move but not crazy i i don't know why uh call this on the monday 942 and again 22 dollars this is sort of pricing four contracts 8800 risk sold at 28. it was 27 percent again you take the profit you get out before it expires why this didn't fall off a cliff i don't know but it still did work it's still to go through the strike it still was profitable and again called it here lifted was up was down then was up again boom you get the drop get out my expectation was that that would go to 600 it didn't it didn't and now it's lifted this week so i'm going to be watching that to see where that goes all in all a very good week every trade worked you've got a risk almost the same as close as you can on every trade because it is about calculated risk you want to put your money to the best highest trades what do i mean by highest highest rating okay so if i'm calling something i'm looking at the rating myself in the morning in the pre-market or in the afternoon when i'm sending trades it's rare i'll send a trade after the open but sometimes as you see i do most of them are set in the pre-market so you can get organized to see what we're doing in the morning before we do them some days there aren't any trades some days there's nothing to do you saw that i did not call trades every single day last week okay i have to have a good gap we have to see the gap and i have to rate it to determine if it's good i might call several trades on one day you saw that here too 
So for me, it's about taking calculated risks where I want to do the good ones. I don't want to do crappy trades. And I think a lot of people now are so desperate this year to make money because we're halfway through the year and people have lost money this year. And I know this because people are emailing me, finding out about my class, finding out about signing up for the newsletter. They're desperate for trade ideas. You should not be going into free chat rooms and free webinars and, and just taking blind trade ideas from people. You're basically trading blind. You don't know what they're doing. You don't know their process. While you may not know my process, unless you take the Golden Gap course, you need to trust in the process that I know what I'm doing as far as the gap rating to make the calls. And then you take it, and I'd say go slow if you're new. Get out of 50% until you get a feel for it, or watch it, I have targets in the letter too. This is about making money though. This is really what trading is supposed to be. And people will just trade blind and take blind ideas from people, and it's disaster. You really should know what to do when you trade. And if you don't, if you don't, then you need to follow someone that you have a high level of confidence in and a high level of conviction in. And I would think that would be me because I really do know what I'm doing. One of the reasons I've read the market so well this year is because I know how to read gaps. And, and there's been a lot of gaps, bullish gaps and bearish gaps in the market. And I'm reading professional money in the market, institutional money in the market. And that's how I'm making the determination whether we're going up or whether we're going down. So I offer two subscription services, the 12 month, which is $69.99, and the six month, which is $49.99. No trials, no prerequisites for this though, and no monthly subscription. So you only have two options to sign up for 12 months and six months. Email me at melissathestockswish.com if you wanna sign up. You can sign up today and get the next trade. It's one of these things where you can start immediately. It's been a good period to trade. I'm gonna to continue to show the trades and results on here, and we'll see where we go. If you have any questions, email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com. Good luck, everyone.